right here at CERN today, we saw history in the making. Scientific history, certainly. Down underground, 100 meters underground, in the Large Hadron Collider, the world's biggest particle accelerator. Some people say, in fact, it's the world's biggest machine. Certainly, it's a racetrack. You see, huge numbers of magnets came together. Huge numbers of people came together from around the world into the CERN control center. And what was it they were looking for? The injection of the first beam. À tous ceux qui ont fait effort depuis 1984. And this is the beginning of the day with Director General Robert Emar addressing the staff in French relâche, and wishing them good luck in the incredible attempt they were ready to go with. Tout est prêt pour réussir. Ayez du courage pour la journée. Elle sera bonne, j'en suis certain. Encouraging everybody to be sure to succeed. They certainly sounded confident, but in fact, there were no certainties in this. It could have happened, maybe not. The event it moved incredibly One, smoothly. Zero. Nothing. Yes, sir. Yes. And here's the beginning of the process the first proton beam being injected. And Lynn Evans there voilà. in the center of our so screen. So here you can see the, the position of the beam. The, with respect to the center of the vacuum chamber, uh, that scale is plus or minus 10 millimeters. So you can see the beam is oscillating, but it's got uh, the three kilometers from point. And this is the beam as it progresses in its clockwise trajectory this morning, very early, earlier than expected, there. step by step through all the eight sectors Aye. of the LHC machine. And as the beam went from one stage to the next, there were cheers and applause for it. That, you see, is the halfway point, the first beam managing to get halfway to the CMS detector, right at the top of that graphic. Uh, the beam is now halfway around the LHC. It's gone through two experiments, the ALICE experiment and the CMS. CMS have seen some beautiful tracks coming off the absorber block that we have in, 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 in that uh, line. Now we are at point six and we are making some corrections and then we will take the beam around octant by octant. We've got four more to do and at this rate, let's hope that within an hour we should get the beam all the way around the LHC. And they did do get all the beam around the LHC within less than an hour. They actually did it in uh, ha half an hour, so the whole process took a little bit more than an hour, the clockwise direction. Yes. Here they are all assembled together. Yeah. Director General Mayani was Director General till year 2000, with Chopper was Director General until 89. And this is Roger Bailey, head of the LHC section. Okay. Three, two, one, please countdown three two Way! one beam and there it is and that was the moment of the full circuit being achieved of the first beam we saw those double flashes showing that the beam had set off and returned home truly a historic moment well done indeed merci à tous et encore bravo Director General Robert Amar thanking everybody and congratulating everybody in French. Bravo. And again, we are seeing replayed images of the completion of the first circle. And that's the graphical representation of the achievement, which all happened by about half past 10 this morning, extremely early of the first day. The first beam was successfully launched yes, around. Especially because we actually saw it.
This is Thorsten Wengler from the Atlas Control Room giving us his reactions. The reactions from one of the detectors, actually the largest detector, placed around the ellipse beam at collision point. They were all excited. Also, their control room was super crowded. Everybody came. I want to congratulate CERN and its Director General, Robert Aymar, for having really organized this worldwide event. And this is really Pierre O'Donnell, Director General of the Fermi moment. National Laboratory in Chicago, the beam around, which collaborates with CERN in the LFC Enterprise. This morning, everything went smoothly, and I think we are quite excited, quite happy, and again, congratulations to everyone. And please enjoy <coughs> the, the, this result with us, even if we have the distance in between. Thank you, everyone, and cheers. This is Director General Robert Remar talking to Fermilab. At the end of the morning, when the first circle was completed clockwise. As it was just said, this is an historic day for CERN. This is the achievement of more than 20 years of hard work by a lot of scientists from all over the world. And today was the first <coughs> try to send particles, a bunch of particles, in one of the two accelerators. And in one hour, this, accelera this accelerator accepted the full turn, which is an achievement which has never been achieved before. And I think this is an opportunity to thank all these people to congratulate them for the work, and particularly the leader of the LHC, Lind Evans. This is under his leadership that everything was going on for years and years. And today, he should be relief and happy to go on what will be the next time for discovery upwards. Well, thank you very much, Director General.